Gaffer, a disappointing result. Did you feel like we did enough to earn something from the game today? I did, yeah. I think first half, you know, we really battled well, um, you know, against a real good championship team, you know, um, and the efforts that the boys put in today was, was, uh, you know, I think deserved at least a point, you know. Um, Really frustrating afternoon, of course, to, to lose, but um, you know the, the effort the lads put in, especially first half, and they kept going second half. We had a couple of scrambles and hit the crossbar. You know, full credit to them. Yeah, the big annoyance, I suppose, is we're left here to reflect on another soft goal in the way it was delivered into the box and, and a free header. Yeah, we had opportunities before that to, to put the ball out for a throw-in, to, to do the basics well. Um, you know, and then obviously the, the ball's come in the box too easy, the, the big fella's pulled off at the back post and, and he's got in too easy. So it's something that we really need to, to put, um, to, to, to stamp out of our game, you know, because at the moment we are, we are conceding soft goals and uh, that's the most frustrating thing. Yeah, those are the fine margins that aren't quite going for us because again today we're talking about a game that didn't appear to be going anywhere, there's nothing in it between the two sides. No, absolutely, of course it is, it's fine margins and um, you know that's what the championship's all about, you know we need to get back to the doing the basics very well. The most important thing is that you know, you, we, we don't lose confidence, we don't lose self-belief, we've got to keep going, do you know what I mean? And, and the most important thing for me is this group of players, they do keep going. Now, there is a little bit of lack of confidence there, you can see that, and when you go a, a goal down, you know, you can see it drain out of the group, but they get it back, you know, and, and the message to the boys uh, after the game was to take the shackles off, you know, we got in some real good areas today in that final third and never crossed the ball, w worried about making mistakes, you know, when we want to clear the ball, just clear the ball, you don't need to be precise, you know, it doesn't no matter where it goes, you know, we've got to get back to basics and, and, get, and get back to believing how good that we are. You know, there's no one more frustrated than myself, of course, and I, know, and I can sense the, the fans' frustration as well. But when we came in, I want this club to be connected with the fans and the players. You know, we need you fans more than anything now. We understand how, how difficult um, a time it is off the field. But the most important thing is that we stick together on the field. You know, I said there'll be difficult moments. There's lots of reasons why, you know, we've been on, a, on this difficult run. But, you know, we're going to get through it and we've got to get through it together and we've got to keep fighting and, and we've got to keep backing these boys. Yeah, you've mentioned confidence there, but you've been involved in the game long enough. Just how quickly can that turn back in our favour? It can, it can turn just like that. You can see the, the results at Swansea and then the performance against West Brom. You know, you can see, you can see how, it, how it can change quickly. And the most important thing is that we, we stick together because it will change. You know, we've got some really big games coming up. We all know that. But the only way we get through them is by sticking together and, and, um, and working hard. Yeah, it's a competitive game this afternoon, lots of second balls to contend with. Is it the sort of game that you'd prepared for that you knew you were up against with this Luton team? Yeah, it was. And, you know, the, the personnel we put out on the pitch today, it was important that we were strong down the middle of the, of the, of the pitch. You know, Gary Gardner came in uh, and, and was excellent there for the first 45 minutes. You could see he tired, uh, which is understandable. He hasn't had any match game, uh, any, any, any minutes really. You know, the, the, um, the, the effort of Hani and, and Chongi and, you know, players like that in that midfield area is, is something that, you know, they need to, to keep going and keep learning that side of it. We know that's not their kind of, of uh, football, but, you know, we're down to bare bones as well. We have to remember that and we have to, we have to make sure that whoever puts on that shirt is committed. And I think you can see that everyone's fighting and, and trying to do the right thing for the football club. On another day, we could have got a point today without a shadow of a doubt and um, you know it's just important that we just carry on keep going yeah you mentioned on another day and we've had that goal mouth scramble Scott Hogan hits the bar as well they've kept knocking on the door late on for you there yeah and that's what the, the group do we keep fighting and we keep believing you know everyone's very down in there of course they are but it's important that they get ourselves back up we have a real good week on the training field this week which will be the first time on the training field for I think three or four weeks that we can actually get some good work done and uh, you know we prepare properly for a, a game next week against Wigan yeah today brings an end four games in 11 days. How much of a toll is that taken on the group when you look at the injury list, obviously no Austin Trusty or Christian Bielik today? Has it probably had a bit of an impact on the last few weeks? Yeah, of course it has. You know, we, we were taking four or five good uh, main players out of this team, you know. But again, I've said it's about the squad. You know, it gives other opportunities to people to come in and stake a claim. Um, you know, so whoever puts the shirt on is very committed. You know, it's certainly a no-excuse culture here. You know, the, the team that I pick and, and, the t and the instructions I give, it. you know, it's my responsibility at the end of the day. And this group of players just keep working hard and keep fighting. And, and uh, no matter who they are, you know, they're, they're committed. 
Yeah, very finely. What's the outlook on Austin? Not in the match day squad today. Yeah, Austin. I think will be a couple of weeks. Uh, unfortunately for him, you know, he's been outstanding. I think this was about his 70th game, you know, in in the, in the calendar year. So um, again, you know, uh, we're, we've been pushing him as we were pushing Dion, we were pushing Christian, you know, pushing Troy. We're pushing all these players for the for the barriers, and um, you know, ultimately something's going to break, and um, it has done. But hopefully, it won't be too long for for Trusty and Chrissy.